Okay, so getting started with this, uh, I wanted to show that I do not have a network problem with my bike. Uh, this is something that iFit support loves to come back with and say, run their tests and say, oh, you have something wrong with your network. It's probably what the problem is. But as you can see, I can get uh, pretty close to 40 megabits per second. This bike has hardware in it that limits the connection. The wire wireless data rate can be no higher than 72 megabits. And if you look it up online, you'll see that that data rate translates to a maximum download speed of about 40 megabits per second. So I am getting maximum speed. Uh, now at this point, you will see that I'm demonstrating that I'm going into the, ver the, the version that is on the bike, the firmware, which is version 2.6.53. Uh, I have it set for automatic mode. And I'm going to demonstrate how it does not look very good. Um, it is acceptable-ish. Uh, is not as good as previous versions, but the problem is it skips, uh, has a lot of frame skips. Uh, I did a workout this morning, tried it for a, it was about a 25 minute workout and I counted 75 frame skips. Uh, you will see them as it goes on here that you will get just momentary freezes and then it goes on. Not the end of the world, but it's highly distracting during a workout, and it is also not up to the quality level of version 2.6.32, which does not have any frame skips. So at this point, I just had to, to, to turn down the volume. I exclude the audio anyway, but I'm also waiting for the, the clock to count down a bit. Uh, the reason for this is that uh, iFit customer support will love to tell you things about that, oh, you need to let it sit longer. So I try to be as, fairly consistent. This one I started a little bit early. Most of them I was trying to uh, start about 40 seconds in. Uh, regardless, it's an automatic mode. It will just simply shift and adjust as needed. You'll see the quality is not looking too bad so far because there's not much motion. Uh, that's just you know the way this thing is working is they must be using a very high compression ratio. Uh, I don't un understand how their automatic algorithm works. I don't claim to. Uh, what I will say though is that you can start seeing if you if you're noticing here you will see the trees start looking more and more like blobs uh, there's a lot of motion artifacting going on and this is an auto mode it will get a little bit better um, it will not get great and you will notice periodically that the, it is not as smooth as it should be even under normal circumstances uh, but on top of that you will see every once in a while that it's going to lurch it's going to stop. It's going to suddenly skip a frame. It's going to jump ahead. Uh, of the workout I did earlier, I only counted the major frame skips, but it is not as smooth as it should be. Uh, now, unfortunately, I tried to record this in a way that would be as clear as possible. I could not get, because of, I guess, the, the shine of the screen, I could not seem to get these, these red and green bar effects out of uh, the picture. But I do believe it's still clear enough for you to see the differences here, as you will see the different videos and different versions. Uh, so if you're paying close attention, you'll see these trees as they're going by. They look little, like blurry little blobs. Uh, that actually gives me a headache on, on rides here. After a while, it's just it's, it's too much for me. Um, I go about two minutes into the workout, so this one is almost finished. And you'll have noticed that it was a little jerky. Uh, it definitely did not look all that good, but, uh, you know, it's... Probably some people would say, hey, it's not the end of the world, it works. I just know that it was better, it can be better, and it should be better. So this is the end of the first one. Now we're going to go on, we're again on version 2.6.53, so this is the, the actual firmware that's on the bike. And now we're going to set it for high quality mode, which you would expect would be high quality, but it is actually worse than automatic quality. Uh, this is something I've reported to them for six months now. I can't even get them to acknowledge this is a bug. Uh, I had somebody who supposedly took it to the developers, but I'm not sure whether it actually happened or not. Uh, this is a very clear software problem because version 2.6.32 will do high quality and it will buffer. If you'll notice this one, it is not going to buffer. It is going to load up and it buffers like one second. For high quality video, it should be buffering for much longer than that. It literally buffers longer on the automatic setting than it buffers to what it is supposed to be doing as high quality. I'm now waiting for it to complete to count the countdown to get down to the standard level of about two minutes and 20 seconds left. Uh, that is just, again, to try to be as consistent as I could on all the tests. It's not really required to show 
what is going on. It does not matter when you start the workout, it will look the same. Now at this point you can see it's fuzzy. It is not a clear pattern on the screen at all here. This is not what you would expect a high quality video. You can see that there's pixelization all over this thing. Uh, it's not much worse in person, honestly, than what I could capture on video, but it's the best I could do. Uh, but now you will see on the right, and, and it will make the auto quality that you just saw look good. So as they go along here, you're going to see the same, see the same jerkiness, the same skips in the frame. And now you see, wow, if this is high quality, I'd hate to see low quality. Uh, everything is just a big blur. And it's still skipping. Even though it's low quality, it is still skipping frames. It is still jerky. Uh, I don't know whether this is because they lowered their frame rate. I have no idea what is actually going on here. But it does not happen in version 2.6.32. It has happened in versions after that, I'm not sure whether it's every version or not. I did not go back to verify. I just know in most recent versions, this has been a consistent problem. Uh, and high quality video, as they call it here, has not worked since version 2.6.35. That one is when it broke. They haven't yet to fix it. Uh, I find it hard to imagine after six months that, that this is just a bug. But um, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt until I hear otherwise. As you can see, this is not high quality video. This is garbage. And you try to ride on this and you will get a headache. There's no doubt about it. It is not good. It is not good at all. It is not smooth. It is very jerky and very disappointing. Uh, if, I, if, I, if this was all the bike could do, I would feel very disappointed at a $2,000 bike that this is the best it could do. But I know it can do better. It's just they have handicapped the software or done something to it. I don't really understand exactly what they've done. Um, I think they may have changed their buffering algorithm, but I don't know whether this is an intentional or an accidental problem they crept in. Now we're going to go to the good version, the last good version, 2.6.32. This was released in September of 2020. That has how long ago it has been since there is a good version of this. I'm going to switch it to automatic quality. So we're not going to demonstrate it in the mode exactly as they would love to recommend, which is leave it in auto quality. Okay. Auto quality works okay on this thing. It, it's not best. I still prefer forcing it to high so it doesn't have to transition because it takes about one minute into the workout before it fully transmissions to the better quality. And I think the quality is still a little less than when it's forced to high quality, but that's rather subjective. Um, anyway, let's go through this and you can have a look and see for yourself. Okay, so again, we're going to wait. We've got to wait for the countdown to get to where it's going in by 40 seconds. I have this one set for a five-minute warm-up, so that a little discrepancy there, but it certainly does not matter for the intention that I have here. So we're going to wait until it gets in about four, four minutes and 20 seconds left, and then we'll start the workout, and you'll see the difference in auto quality on version 2.6.32. Okay, away we go. So now, as you see, it doesn't look that good, but that's just the way the software works. I don't have a problem with that in automatic quality. If it needs a little time to shift into the proper quality, I mean, that happens a lot of times with other streaming services, it's okay. Uh, I do expect that the option should be to force it to high, and I deal with whether it buffers or not. That, does, that worked in 2.6.32. It does not work in the current versions. That is a feature that I believe is a necessity. Uh, because their buffering algorithm is kind of questionable in that regard. So it's still looking kind of eh right now, not that good, but it's pretty smooth. I mean, you, you won't see a whole lot of uh, frame skips in this. Uh, minimal at best. I, I would say it's certainly within the realm of being acceptable. Now, there, it just shifted. You see, it shifted into a higher quality mode. Now, at this point, not bad. I mean, unfortunately, it is really hard to capture this on camera. I wish I could have done a better job, but it's the best I could do. But you can see, if you look closely, you will see those trees, they look like trees. They don't look like these little watercoloring smudges that are coming across at you. 
And more importantly, because I really don't feel that the auto quality in the newer versions is that bad, it would be acceptable, except for it skips frames. And I, I mean, come on, 70 some times of it pausing in the video while you're riding for 25 minutes is just not acceptable. Not if it's, it's something that, it's, that it worked before in the past. This is nice and smooth. Everything's going great. There's no problems here with this. This is, uh, this, is, this is acceptable to me. I don't have any issues with it. Now, I still like the high quality, forcing it to hide better in this version of the software. It works better. It looks better. Don't have any issues with it at all. It's my favorite. Uh, that's what I'm going to show in a minute once this, this ride is complete. But as you can see, this, this was a fairly smooth ride. I don't, I don't have any complaints over it. And it, it looks better in person than when it shows on here. I mean, uh, unfortunately, it's, it's kind of the, 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 the issue here is that it looks the, the, the bad doesn't look as bad as it really is, and the, the, the good doesn't look as good as it really is, but it's the best I could do. Uh, so this is version 2.6.32 again, but now we're going to force it to high quality, and we're going to show exactly how this thing is supposed to behave in high quality mode. And to me, I just don't understand how, if this is a bug, how is it it's six months later, it still exhibits very different behavior from what would be expected. Anytime you, you set something to it, force it to a high quality mode or, or something like that, it's going to have to buffer. It's going to have to do something to get you that high quality. Either that or it's going to uh, have problems streaming. Uh, as I demonstrated, my connection is as fast as this bike, which this bike, iFit, and Nordic Track are, go hand in hand. There's no choice in the matter. They put this bike together. This hardware should be able to, to handle the iFit software just fine. And the maximum speed I'm going to get is 40 megabit download. That should be equivalent to handling eight simultaneous full HD videos at 1080p resolution. I don't see where there should be an issue at all with that. By anybody else's standards, it would be fine. I fit, I don't know, but hey, like I said, they're, they're in partners with Nordic Track who made the, 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 this limitation. They chose to use a half duplex wireless in adapter in this thing. Uh, it's basically over 10 year old technology and that's what they put in it. Fine. It works. It should, I, I mean, it proves it works. In 2.6.32, it works fine. You can see everything is nice and clear. It buffered for about 40 seconds. It will not buffer again. Uh, it, it basically, I, I'm assuming it buffers at least 60 seconds of video. It takes it 40 seconds to buffer. That means it's going to constantly keep the buffer full so long as your connection is good enough. And, and mine is, is fine. There's not an issue with it. So now we're going to watch this. And you're going to see it's a nice smooth video. And look at the trees. You can actually see details. You can see the leaves. You don't see any blurs. You don't see any artifacting going on here. Uh, like I said, this does not do it justice. It looks great. When you're on the bike, you can see the rocks. You can see the pebbles. You see it. You feel like you're out there. You do not get that with the newer version of the software. You feel disconnected from the entire ride. It hurts the eyes. It strains the eyes because you want to take in the details. You want to take in the scenery. That's the whole point of this, um, to get your workout in and enjoy the scenery. And you can't enjoy the scenery when it looks horrible. So this is great. I have no complaints to this. All I want is this software to work as good as it did in September and before. I don't know what they did, but they have not improved it. They have not fixed it, and I have had a terrible time getting past their support nightmare because support will tell you over and over again, oh, I think you have network problems. You have this problem. You have that problem. Let's run Route This Helps, which is running from a phone, not from the bike, that is then going to be connected to the same access point, and then they say, oh, well, your router is too old, or this is up. And it's like, I don't care. If I'm getting the right bandwidth and every other streaming device in my house is working, don't keep trying to blame it on the same thing, but they do. And I had a terrible time even escalating the management. They are roadblocks. Their entire support process is roadblocks. Good luck if you call them. I'm pushing. I'm escalating. Wish me luck.